Hey everybody, if you're lucky to be getting this failure configuring Windows updates, reverting changes, do not turn off computer message, which seems to be happening all over the place, um, maybe it is a bad update, maybe Microsoft is intentionally doing this to force people to upgrade to Windows 10, which I don't know if that's true, but I wouldn't be surprised because they have uh, caused problems like this in the past to try to get what they want. All right, the easiest way to take care of this problem is some people are saying press F11, start the machine up, press F11, go back to restore your PC to a working uh, condition, and then you can go in and try to get a restore point. Other people are saying go into safe mode and restart everything, and you should be fine the way that I was able to solve it, it seems that everybody has different ways of solving this problem, if they're able to at all. The way I was able to solve the problem is you need to go and get out of this mess away till it reverts. There seems to be a bad update that is causing this. So if you go in and you do, <clears throat> you go into Windows Update. So if you go into Windows Update and you click on Update to uh, update your recent files or your 200 and some files then uh, you're gonna get this message. The easiest way to get around this is some people are doing update 10 or 15 files at a time or five files at a time. What I ended up doing is I updated individually the first couple files that were listed as updates and it accepted them and then after that it just automatically kicked in and downloaded the 181 other files and installed it and everything was fine and then after that there were probably five other groups of updates that it wanted to do when I kept on checking for updates so there is a corrupted I won't say it's a corrupted install there is a problem with installing at least one or a couple of the updates at the very top of the list so just start updating one at a time and after that works then if you need to update maybe five or ten or fifteen files at a time and you will be able to get past this problem. I promise you that is what's causing this. So if you want to leave comments, uh, that's fine. But again, the uh, going into safe mode did not seem to work, even though some people say it does. Just to give you an idea, you can see this is what happens. All of these installs become failures. First thing you should do is create a restore point. You don't have to do this, it's optional, but you should do it just in case you mess things up. Click on your start button go over to computer right click on computer let me try to zoom in a little bit right click on computer go down to the bottom where it says properties left click on properties up at the top over here it's going to say system protection left click on system left click on system protection which I did and this box comes up down at the bottom it says, do you want to create a restore point? Click on create, put a name for that, like uh, whatever you'll remember for the restore point, so that if you have a problem you can revert back, you can do your own reverting back to uh, where you were before you did this. Okay, that's step one. Okay, continuing, some of these things might fix it, all of them might fix it, some might fix it, none of them might fix it, but click on the start button, left click on control panel, Go over here to the top left where it's a system and security. Find and fix problems, left click. Now what you want to do is find the section that says fix problems with Windows Update, which is under systems and security. So we left click on this. And this box comes up. Troubleshoot and Windows Update. You want to click on advanced. Left click on advanced. Make sure it says apply repair automatically. Click on run as administrator. That's very important. And now we click next. And this is the built-in Windows 7 repair. There's also a website on Microsoft uh, to do an automatic fix of Windows update. But this is already built into Windows 7, so use this and let it go through its process to see if it can repair your Windows update. Just in case you want to do the Windows Update site <clears throat> for troubleshooting, this is the address. You can do this instead of using the built-in Windows Update.
This takes a long time to do, so while that is happening, I'm going to go over to the Start button, left click, right in the search box over there, I'm going to type services dot period dot period whatever you want to call it msc services dot msc or click enter on the uh, or hit enter on the key keyboard this box pops up and the reason you're doing this is you might have uh, updates in the windows cache and you need to clear those you can't clear them until you stop this process. So you want to scroll down on the right, scroll bar until you get to Windows Update at the bottom. Hopefully you know how to spell Windows Update. There it is right down there. Let's see if it's showing on the mouse. Windows Update. Click on it. Right click. Go to the top and press stop with the left mouse button. It's going to attempt to stop it. You look over here right now, Windows Update should be stopped. Let's double click it to make sure. Yeah, you see over there it's a start, so we know that Windows Update is stopped. Now we want to go to the next one. I'm going to scroll up to the top over here. I'm going to go to Background Intelligent Trans. Windows couldn't identify any problems. Great. Okay, so it's a Microsoft problem, obviously. I'm going to go back up to, uh, so that was the Windows Update uh, repair that I tried. Didn't work. Back over to the Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Left click it to highlight it. Right click it. Press Stop with the left mouse button. It's going to shut it down. Okay, now we're doing good. Now we're almost uh, finished. Close the box in the upper right hand corner. Okay, we're almost finished here. Go to the Start button. Go to My Computer, Computer, whatever you call it. There is Drive C. Click on Drive C. Click on Windows. Let's open this up so you can see what's going on here. Alright, I'm going to scroll down to Software Distribution. Right over there, you're going to click on that. Now you're going to open up this folder. You see the two folders, Data Store and Download, right over here and here? You, want to, you don't want to delete the folder. You want to delete everything that's in there. So we're going to Control-A. I'm going to right-click and see how I can... I'm going to delete this with Administrative Services, but I don't know if it's going to let me. Are you sure you want to delete items to the recycle bin? Yes. You want to get rid of everything that's in there. Okay, that's good. As, as long as it's gone, that's the important thing. Uh, click up on the arrow over there, go back, download folder, left click on the download folder, highlight everything in there with control A, hit the delete on the keyboard. It doesn't like that because everything is frozen right now, so hold on a minute. Okay, you're supposed to be able to delete everything in this download folder, but it doesn't want to let me do that, so I'm going to right click, go into properties, that shows read only, so I'm hoping that I can undo that read only, I'm going to click apply. Apply to everything in the subfolder. Permissions doesn't like that. Let's see what it does anyway. Okay, so let's go through this process, and then I'm going to see if I can delete the files in the download folder. If not, I'll probably have to go into save mode. Hopefully I can delete those files now. Let's go back into download. Microsoft never makes this easy. Let's control A. Let me hit delete and see if it's going to give me... Nope, doesn't like that. All right, got to figure out how to get permission to delete the files in this folder. That's definitely the problem. These are all the updates that are corrupted. What I'm doing now is I'm booting up into safe mode. If you don't know how to do that, start your computer. Right as you start it up, press the F8, E-I-G-H-T, the F8 key. Press the F8 key, and that will start up in safe mode. You're probably going to have to put in your password. I'm going to click start button now that I'm in there. I'm going to go over to my computer. Got my drive over here, drive C, Windows. Software distribution that I was at before. Download folder. Let's highlight everything and see what happens. Control A. 
delete. Doesn't like that. Doesn't like the delete key on that button. Let's right click the mouse. Delete. Oh, it likes that. Okay. Yes. We're deleting. Okay, so that's what you have to do to go in there and delete these files because they are locked by administrative privilege. So boot up in safe mode. Get rid of all these files. Uh, you can see there's a heck of a lot of them. Look at all of that. And after that, we'll get back to uh, getting this machine working. All the files are gone now from that folder, from the download folder. So I'm going to reboot. I'm going to restart the machine now. Click on the start button, restart. And then I'm going to go back in and change the uh, permissions on that folder back to read only. And then we're going to turn on the services that we turned off. Back to the uh, Windows Software Distribution folder. The download that I had before, I'm going to right-click on it and go to Properties again and make sure that everything is listed as read-only. Okay, the read-only came back, so there's no problem with that. I'm going to cancel out now. Now I'm going to go back over to the Start menu. It's hiding down there. I'm going to press that, and I'm going to type in what I typed in before, Services. Dot M S C services. I think that's in focus. I'm gonna hit the enter on the keyboard. Wait for it to do its thing. It's kind of slow. Let's go into the uh, corner over there and open this box up so that it's easy to read. It's populating all of the services. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit backwards because it's just easier. I'm gonna go over here to stretch this out so you can read it easier. See, background intelligence services over here. Now it's listed as manual. We're going to go back up to this thing and we're going to right click it. We're going to go to properties. And we're going to change manual to automatic. And then we're going to click start. I'm going to let the service start up. I'm going to click Apply, even though it just applied it. We're going to click OK. And go scroll all the way down to Windows Update. And we're just turning everything back on that we turned off originally. Left click, right click, Properties. Automatic. Apply. Shows that the service has already started. It's waiting for it to do its thing. And then after that, everything should be working. Then you should be able to go into your Windows Update like you normally do and let everything update. Um, if that does not solve, this should solve the problem. If it doesn't solve the problem, then do what I said at the beginning of this video start doing individual updates in the beginning and you're gonna get past something within the first few updates that's causing the problem and after that then you should be able to if it doesn't kick in automatically and start automatically downloading and installing all the files on its own then just uh, keep installing groups of the files you're gonna get past this uh, Microsoft has no answer on it they have no comment on it again I believe this is a way for them to push Windows 10, they did the same thing with Windows XP and the updates causing the machines to tie up and uh, go into a loop of trying to download files and cause lots of problems. So hopefully this video helped. Make sure you do a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, whatever you can. Go to my channel page if you want. Donate like $10 million on the donate link over there to uh, support the channel. And hey, link this to everything. Hopefully it helped. This is a nightmare of a problem. Hopefully this helped everybody.